Hi, GAC family. So excited to worship and refresh in the Lord together today. May we just have a joyful time celebrating all that God has given us through his son, Jesus, today. I just am so thankful for what God has done through his son, Jesus, what he's currently doing and what he's going to do. Let's just really look to God for what he wants to do in and through us in these days that we have here on earth. Let's look to 1 Peter 1.3 for some encouragement in his word today. Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth of living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This is what we are given in Jesus. Let's worship and adore our Savior together today. verse we're gonna go cha-ching because we know God's word has so much value and then we'll go Colossians 3 and then clap 16 all right so let's learn the motions together today will you stand with me and learn so let the word it's just gonna be like we have a Bible in our hands of Christ taking it to the cross dwell in us like it's dwelling to the inner depths of our souls richly like we're having some money we're showing the world right richly right and then what do we do we say cha-ching all right really loud and then we go colossians 3 16 and clap let's try that a little faster together today let the word of christ dwell in you richly cha-ching colossians 3 16 Let's try that super fast. Here we go. Let the word of Christ dwell in you. Richly cha-ching, Colossians 3, 16. So now it's time for our Bible story, and I'm so excited to meet together and to look to God's word. Today we are seeing how Jesus himself was tempted in the wilderness, and this was after his baptism. And today I think we have a lot to learn about how Christ responded to Satan. So let's go ahead and read together in Matthew, verse 4, 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, why don't you turn these stones into a loaf of bread? <laughs> Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone but from every word that comes from the mouth of God. 
Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand at the highest point. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, it is also written, do not put your Lord, your God, to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain to show him all the kingdoms of the world in their splendor. All this will be given to you, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and the angels came to attend him. Wow, that was absolutely awesome. It wasn't just once that Jesus was tempted. He was tempted three times. Three times by Satan. I don't know about you, but sometimes it does feel like those attacks come one after the next. But we have so much to learn from Jesus. What did he do? He proclaimed the truth. He proclaimed God's word. That's how he combated the enemy. He told him to stop. Not today, Satan. No way. I'm going to proclaim truth. God's word is alive and well. And I just pray that we will just be motivated to store his word into our hearts. All right, so now we're going to play some Minute to Win It games. And what I want us to realize is that it's important to spend time together as a family, right? But I want to challenge you in a whole new way. Minute to Win It it kind of reminds me of how when we spend minutes with the Lord and in his word memorizing it and learning about him, we really do win at life. So let's remember that as we play these games and have fun, may we just also encourage ourselves to be in God's word.
much fun to be able to play games and spend some time together as a family. Minute to minute games are some of my favorite, but there's nothing that's better than going and opening up God's Word. Maybe even doing that as a family. I challenge you to go ahead and play some Minute to Win It games. Maybe some of the ones that you've even seen us do as a family. And then take some time to dig into God's Word together. Maybe memorize a scripture verse as a family. Choose one. Maybe even make it a family verse. Have fun learning God's Word, soaking it into our hearts and living it out in our lives. All right, it is time for our object lesson, or maybe I should say our game challenge, because this little experiment requires a little bit of patience. And sometimes memorizing God's word takes a little bit of time and patience too. So what this represents, the cup is representing us, and this is just the opportunity that we have to hide the treasure of what God has given to us in his word into our hearts and lives. And we have seen how important that is even in what Jesus did, right? When he was tempted in the wilderness, he was successful because he proclaimed God's truth. He didn't believe what the enemy was telling him. He knew and had that solid foundation upon our rock, our God. So let's go ahead and do this together today. What you're going to have to do is try to flick the paper to get the pennies into the cup. So you flick the paper just like this. And the pennies just go right into the cup. And here we have it. Stored scriptures into our hearts and life. You know, memorizing the word is not always easy. But I tell you what, it is one of the greatest blessings to your life and the lives of others as you're able to share with others as they walk through maybe some challenging things. So I encourage you to dig into God's word today and just memorize one verse at a time. together today and uh, there's such power in the Word of God right we saw that in how Jesus was victorious over the enemy by just continually just proclaiming truth over the enemy's attempts may we just be encouraged today to grow in his word and to memorize it and to hide it in our hearts so that way um, we have those opportunities to really proclaim God's word when the enemy wants to get that foothold let's go to the Lord together in prayer Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for the gift of Jesus, for his love and grace and mercy. Lord Father, we thank you for how your word is alive and well, Lord. We thank you for the power that you've given us through the Holy Spirit, Lord. May you just help us in the hard moments in life, Lord Father, just to continue to proclaim your goodness, your truth, Lord Father, over any attempts of the enemy. Lord God, we want to give you all the glory, honor, and praise forevermore. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye guys. Thanks so much for worshiping with me today. I hope you have a blessed day.